Hello, Salimik. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix code PO300, which stands for misfiring in two or more than two cylinders. And sometimes you will get a specific cylinder number for the same misfiring problem. Here are for cylinder number one, two, three, and so on. So the main reason PO300 comes on are faulty ignition coil or a wire. I have a video showing how to check it with or without OBD scanner, dirty or clogged fuel injectors or a faulty spark plug. Recently I did a video showed how to read spark plugs, but we're not gonna know how the spark plug igniting inside the engine. So that's why we need a spark plug tester. Here I got spark plug tester from O-Tool. In the box you will get power supply which available for 110 and 220 volts. Spark plug tester itself and the manual. Highly recommend to read the manual for safety reasons. Because the tester can generate up to 1000 volts. Alright, let's power it up. Here I got some good and bad spark plug to test them out and I will also be comparing with this cheap tester to see what are the difference. Let's close the cover and turn it on. Green light will indicate that the tester powered up. I'm just gonna use sharpie and mark up the arrow groove so you guys have better vision. For sake of the video I'm gonna open the cover so the camera can focus on the tip of the spark plug. Here are some close up shots of the spark plug working. Whenever you want to test the spark plug, test them at lowest RPM. Most spark plugs fail at lowest RPM just like this one. The cheaper tester I used wasn't that accurate when I wanted to see the spark plug at 800 RPM, but with the O-Tool spark plug tester, the dial much accurate. Another problem I had with the cheap tester was a poor contact. But with the auto spark plug tester, it snaps in and have a good contact. And the last thing I like about it, it has a protective cover so you don't get electrical shock accidentally. This is one of the must tools to have so you have a clear idea how the spark plug working inside the engine at any RPM. The link will be in the description box below if you want to check it out. So that's it for this video. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.